this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to do another Project Life type of project. For Project Life 2023, I'm kind of looking at my stories a little bit different and figuring out different ways to tell them in a non-traditional way. So for this spread, I am doing all the everyday stories, but there's kind of a twist. I had so many photos and I really didn't want to make an individual page for all of these everyday stories. So I decided to make collages for the different photos. So I have a collage for weather and a collage for weeding and the different shows that we watched. I then printed out these colored pieces of paper that match the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month February kit, and I'm going to lay those over the top and make flip-ups for all of the different collages. That way, it wasn't going to be a very busy-looking layout with all the different collages and the photos. I felt like that could be very overwhelming to the eye, so creating these little flip-ups with the vellum circles on the top would be perfect. So I grabbed the vellum circles that color coordinate with each of the uh, top layer. So I have like a green and a coral, a pink, and a yellow. It's a really pretty color scheme for February and I'm really excited to see how this whole project is going to come together. And like I said in the beginning, I'm just really enjoying looking at my family stories in a different way. Um, I just have to remind myself that I can't do every single photo. Even if I want to, I cannot do every single photo and I can't do like a million spreads. So that's kind of where this idea came from. And of course, I wanted this video and this project to get finished sooner, but I kept overthinking things about how I was going to document my family's stories and how I was going to make sure that this project wasn't going to become overwhelming or too big. And so this was kind of my solution. Use an app, uh, pick frame and make some collages, print them out and then use uh, flip ups and just add um, paper behind them so that way I can add the journaling and I'm also going to add a stamped title a little bit later on. So right now this is what I'm doing. I'm just taking the colored pieces of paper and backing them and then adding that flip, folding it, and then attaching it to my project. So I'll have four on the left and two on the right. I'm going to have a little bit of white space over on the far right hand side because I, that way it gives it a little bit of that breathing room and and I'll have a cluster at the bottom so that way I can do a title. And the different categories that I kind of included when I was pulling together these collages was shows, weeding down by the mailbox, uh, weather, family fun adventure, a special treat, and going to Ikea together. And to finish up my Project Life February, I have a, a project about my son and my daughter and my husband and I going on a hike and then uh, an end page for February. So I'll have that video next week and then hopefully I can move on to March. And if you remember when I first started this project, I kind of told myself I can, you know, stop doing this project at any time. I just wanted to try something different since I've done Project Life since since the beginning, 2009, and I really am enjoying this book, but not being able to have it in an album, and I even talked about this in my agenda video too, not being able to have it in an album and use page protectors has been a little bit tricky. So I might switch over to a different format for this uh, May, when I start May. So the first four months are going to go in um, a this album that I'm making or journal that I'm making using the cinch machine. So I have all of the flaps laid down. I even used my X-Acto knife to cut off a few of the edges that were, you know, hanging out. And I, I wanted to make sure that no, none of the pictures were sticking out, that all you could see was the colored. As you can see, this weeding uh, collage got... Um, needed to have a little bit trimmed off. So I trimmed that and then I can go ahead and adhere that down. I know that I want that big cluster down on the bottom right of the project. So I'm gonna have one up in the left-hand corner. And also this works too, since I only had vellum circles that matched like five of the 
colored uh, papers on top and I just used one that was a blank vellum uh, circle with the gold. So it's all working out and I'm really using up this kit and enjoying uh, stretching my kit and figuring out ways to use it. So that's the other piece of my intentions for this year is using up my kits that I have, the Stories by the Month kits, and using the different pieces that Allie Edwards has been including, like the extra embellishments or the uh, extra papers. I also decided to add a little bit of dimension and texture to these vellum pieces and staple them either two times or one time. I did it different for all of them. And in this little cluster that I'm making, I did the vellum circle that has nothing on it, a chipboard piece, and then also a punch circle from that journaling card. It's the digital journaling card that has kind of the really cool map on it with different colors. I loved that, so I wanted to add that in so that way it's a... It's another way to add in all the different colors from the kit. I also pulled some of the vellum gold flowers from the January kit and added in a few of those. I even grabbed a few word phrase stickers that match some of the colors, like the green one, I grabbed Lucky Day. Below that, I found one that says this month, and that also worked to cover up the hole that I had on that paper. Um, because I had ripped it earlier when I was making this video. I want to add a few stamped phrases, so I'm going to go ahead and add this month up in the top left corner, and I want to make sure I get the month, so I put February uh, down in the bottom right for that cluster, and I absolutely love how that cluster came together. It's a chipboard and the um, punch circles from the map and also some vellum flowers. What I'm going to do now is uh, add my lines so that way I can stamp the titles for all of the different stories that I have. So for this one, I'm doing weather. And the next one is going to be family fun. This this place is ha actually has a really weird name. And so I didn't want to use the name of the place. It just it worked better if I did family fun. And I also decided to make things a little different with each of these titles and the placement. So I put this one down on the bottom. That way it's just a little bit different. And the stamp set that I'm using is from Ali Edwards and Laura Wansick. It's a stamp set that I use all the time because it has two different fonts and also the numbers as well. So the bottom one is going to be Ikea. We had tons of fun there, especially my kids. They love the cart. Okay, and then the next one is going to be Sweet Treat. Again, I could have done like Baskin Robbins, the name of the place, but I thought it would be more fun to do just Sweet Treat. That's definitely a more fun title, right? And then I will move on to the right-hand side page and do the last two um what's it called? Two titles. There you go. I wasn't sure what to call this. I mean, it's weeding, but we were actually trying to rescue the flowers because there was so much grass around our flowers. So I thought about uh, family yard work, but that was really long. So I just, I went with weeding. I already had weather. So another uh, W title was fine. I know you guys, I'm probably just totally overthinking this, but <laughs> That's okay. And the last one is going to be watch this. Now I'm not sure if gr grammatically, grammar wise, this makes sense. I think it should have been watching this, but I could not fit in the ing. So watch this will just have to work. Now I am going to go back through and do all my journaling. So I wanted to make sure that I include the stories behind these photos. And of course, for me, journaling lines work much better. So I'm just going to add some and then journal about the different stories. And then I can tell you a little bit about the stories and then we'll wrap up this project. And again, I'm very excited to be doing my project life this way. I just really want to get to the point where I can put it in the bound journal. I really want to be able to see it. Okay, so for weather, if you guys have followed California weather, you know that it has been chaotic and really wet. So we've been dealing with that. And in February, there was little peaks of spring. So that was nice to see. And I wanted to document that. Uh, my husband had a change in schedule in February. So we were able to have like a weekend day together. And we went to this new family fun place and 
did some bowling. We loved the Angry Birds bowling. And then the, um, the rest of my people did go-kart racing. The next little story is going to be about Ikea. I had a lot to say about the family fun. I think I was even talking about how we um, all love the chicken fingers and the fries at this new uh, family fun place. Okay, so at Ikea, I think I already mentioned this, but... Um, oh, I'm going to sweet treat first. Well, we bribed the kids on a hike that if they behave themselves, mainly the teenager, <laughs> if he behaved himself, we would get ice cream afterwards after the little hike. So we got some ice cream and my daughter even got a dinosaur little hat. Um, and the teenager didn't want his photo taken, which was fine. So there's only a collage of like two photos. The next one is the Ikea one, and I already mentioned this, but the kids had a blast on the little carts that spin, but I had been wanting to go there for a very long time to get the Calyx inserts for my scrapbook area, and I finally got some, so I was very excited to have those. And yes, they still need to do a scrap, scrap room tour, but I will get to it at some point. I will. Next one is weeding. I already kind of talked about this, but down by the mailbox, we have these flowers called Harlequin flowers, and they bloom only for a few weeks during late spring. And uh, because of all the rain, the flowers were getting covered by grass, like choked almost by the grass. So we had to rescue the flowers, and that's what I told my daughter. She thought it was hilarious. And she loved finding all the ladybugs, too. She wanted to make sure that the ladybugs could stay in the flowers. And I told her, of course they can. And my son was able to get a picture of my daughter and I weeding together down by the mailbox. He did not help. He just sat there and supervised, I guess you could say. And the next one is going to be Watch This. I'm sure that we watched probably more than four shows in the month, but these were the four that stuck out for us. As a family, we absolutely loved the show My Dad, the Bounty Hunter. That was a really cool one about a dad and his two kids, and they like have sci-fi adventures. Really good, and we want another season already. So that was fun, and we also enjoyed Lyle Lyle Crocodile. And my husband and I enjoyed a silly series about a girl who may or may not be dead or I don't know. It was weird. And then we have a ghost. So a good mix of shows and movies this month. Adding in a few more journaling lines and that will wrap up this project. And you guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put this together, hearing me talk about Project Life 2023, and also listening to my stories. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.